Uh, hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to be creating this flying envelope in Adobe Photoshop. First of all, the envelope is going to act as our character. I created this envelope in Adobe Photoshop whereby I add the front, there are four categories, I add the front part, the back part, the cover. So I made the front part blue, then the back part I made it in a dark blue color to create an illusion of inside part. So this is how I created it and gave it some eyes plus some texts. After the envelope I made it, I converted it into a smart object. And I also converted the cover into a, a smart object. And you are going to see it later why I converted them to smart object. In After Effects, uh, smart objects are like uh, pre comps, or smart objects are groups whereby you can make the edit from the smart object then it comes into the main comb or page so the main thing here is to do the animation so let's just get started right away uh, when you see here i named my layer each one cover front letter back so come to windows then timeline then go here to create video timeline let's just move it up uh, create video timeline so we see four layers on the timeline so those four layers are the same layers here uh, photoshop give us uh, five seconds but we can increase them if you want if you drag a layer to any side uh, the time will be added so let's flip our envelope like this because it's going to come from here then go up increase the frame remember uh, 24 frames makes a second so let's unmute our envelope we come here to windows we we'll bring the timeline if you don't have it you come here to window bring the timeline then after uh, open each layer open each layer and set these parameters so here let's look out at these things at these layer types here the icon down here it means this is a shape layer then this icon is for smart object so we have two smart objects and two shape layers so we need this envelope to come from here so for smart objects we key the transformation top then for shape layers, we give the vector mask position. We go down here. This is letter. We keep transformation. Then vector position, mask position for the shape layers. So these first keys we have set all for are the one which all values for this position of our animation so we go back to the beginning we select all layers then we move the envelope out of the scene so here we have got now new keyframes new keyframes from each layer so these keyframes all position values for our envelope which is now out so when we move here the envelope comes so these second keyframes hold values 
to the position, the size, the, and the scale of our envelope here. So when you play the animation, it goes on like that. But it is too slow. So let's make it. We can adjust. Uh, we can adjust the timing until we get what we desire or until we get what we want. The more you reduce the space between the two frames, the less time it will take. Our envelope comes to the scene. So, I want when we switch it here, it stops. It's going to come a little bit faster. So, when we switch it here, I talk about those frames. Without moving it, I set other keyboard using this. Using that diamond icon. So in between here there is no animation. So here second, here then I animate the cover. I come to about here. Left click on the object. Remember this is not object. Then after right click, come to distortion. Then move this point to up. So when we play, we see it's opening up. It's opening up. But we can also animate the position so that we close this white part. So now it's like this. It opens up like that. So now we see. We go to later. We go to later. Set the key. So this is now a keyhole. We move to about here, we move our letter up. But the problem is now going at the back of the cover. So, the solution to that, when we come here, when this cover opens up like this, then it opens up very soon here. We cut, we come here, we select it, we come here, go to the scissor tool and cut it. So after cutting it, after cutting it here in the layers panel, it has been duplicated twice. So this is the duplicate. So when we see here, the duplicate also has the keyframes. So what we do. We push this duplicate behind the letter like this. We drop the layer. So here now the letter is on top of the cover. So when it opens up, it's you see, see. So we go back to our letter layer. It has opened up. You can push it more. You can push it more so that you can see the eyes very well. So now it's like this. So after it opens up like this. We put a hole, then right here, uh, left click on it, then uh, I will go to this, this table, we make like it's looking this side. So we will animate the eyes, we will also animate the eyes. So it's like looking this side. So we come to here to try to create this top, this top. Then you still can write to the place of perspective. Then still this top. 
and try to look this side. So it's now we open the remember it's a smart object. So we open the later layer. When you open it still we create a timeline we play until here it comes to one when it comes to one it comes to the eyes let's look big other layer we are not going to use like the words we lock them like this we lock it so we mean we only the layers we are going to use let's also make them smart objects each one let's make it a smart object right click convert to smart object right click uh, convert to smart object we select all of them uh, go down here select all of them open them set key Yeah, this total is long but when you follow it you will be able to create some good animation in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, so that's it. We come here around these frames, then we move our eye like this and like this. We move the inner one like this and then this one like this then we can also animate this one to give it a very small animation and after we save we go back to this first one we we'll see what's happening. In the here, the eyes move. But let's give this key more time. Let's give them some more time here. So it will create our animation. This topic more. We can put another keyframe for all. Another keyframe for each layer. For all the eyes to that side. Let's also make it look down. Then. I'm going to keep looking down. Then afterwards, we go back to the final, to the final shape. Come here, create a keyframe, right click, copy, come here, right click, paste. So you see it's going back. Come here, create a key, come on this one, copy, come to this right click, paste. So it is, it is the same to the other layers. Create key. So after save. So it will go back to and go back to this. You see our animation. So after that we do the same thing of copying. Here we put a hold by adding another key. Then here so the angle of will go back inside. Then also here we duplicate still our first cover control J 
so it comes here then to put it around here so so the transformation transformation then come here down Then move some frames, move some few frames, and come here. Right click, right click this code, bring the cover back. Then when everything is is done we select all our layers and mark we select it and we give it a frame hold and open camera ok later here we give you the frame hold back front we give you the frame hold cover this one no? this one we give you the frame hold then after move forward select all layers then move the end of out of the scene the envelope out of the scene then you can trim the timeline to your desired so mine stops here so this is our animation So this is our animation, but as usual, you first make a preview of your animation to see what is really going on here. So we have put some key on the layer we are not supposed to put. Remember, we did some copies, so this one was supposed to be cut, so we have created the key on it come on it delete the key so it's now sorted come to here and this goes back like this this is the animation you are able to create uh, so please subscribe to my channel share like comment and please don't forget to subscribe to my page don't forget to hit the bell button so that you can get a notification whenever i post a new uh, video